guys, it's me, Auntie Allison. How are you doing today? All right, if you remember, we did the Caterpillar and the Polywog. If you want to, you can read the book to your child or you can search on YouTube for the reading of the Caterpillar and the Polywog, depending on which one you like to do best. Now, last time I showed you the life cycle of the Caterpillar. Today, today I'm gonna show you the life cycle of the frog. So today we're gonna make the frog, the life cycle of the frog. And here you can see we've got the eggs, the tadpoles, the froglet, and the frog. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. First, you put rolls on your plate, then label it, eggs, tadpole, froglet, and frog. All right, so now that I have it labeled, I'm going to do the eggs first. Now there are two different ways you could do the eggs. You could either use Play-Doh, white Play-Doh, and make your eggs out of little balls of Play-Doh, or you can use mini marshmallows. Now, I personally like the mini marshmallow idea. So, I've gotten a few marshmallows, and I'm gonna put a little glue on each one and put them where the eggs are. It doesn't matter however many, how many you do, whatever you decide is fine. I always seem to have some sort of a pattern. So this time I'm doing five. I'm doing three on top and two on the bottom. So they look like this. Now the next thing you wanna do, because tadpole eggs or frog eggs, you can see the little black dot in the eggs and that's the little tadpole that's gonna hatch. So then I just go back and put a little black mark on each marshmallow to make it look a little more authentic. All right, second, we're gonna do our tadpoles. Now tadpoles, you know, are look round and have a long tail. So you can use your child's fingerprint. And you put one, again, however many you want, two, and there are usually lots of tadpoles. I'm gonna put four right now. So first you put you do their, their fingerprint. Then you take your Sharpie and you're going to just, I'm not sure if you can see this. Then you're gonna just draw the little end of the tail and color it in. So it kind of starts in a little triangle and goes down and then color it in. That way the child has ownership on it too. Now you could draw the outline and your child could color it in if you wanted. All right, so now that we're done with our tadpoles, now it's time to do our froglet. Now a froglet still has a tail and is starting to grow his back legs and his body is starting to look a little more like a frog. So you can take two colors of um, Play-Doh. Now we made this Play-Doh. You don't have to make your own Play-Doh, you can buy it. Then take just a little bit. And I, I always start with a ball, it just kind of makes it easier. Then flatten it out. Squeeze the middle kind of together. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So that it kind of looks like this right here. Then put your froglet on the plate and squish it down. Okay. Now you're going to take your other color, which mine is orange. And you know, if you wanted to make it look a little more authentic, you could do green. So I'm gonna take just a little bit and I'm gonna make, start this one as a snake. 
and I'm gonna pinch quite a good bit off of that and make this kind of a short tail. And I'm gonna put that on the end so you can see that the tail's getting shorter. Push it down. Then I'm gonna take a little more. It doesn't have to be much, okay? And then I'm going to make the leg. So you make a little snake, then push it up and make a little leg, just like that. And then if you want to, you can just take your fingernail and put in three little things to kind of make the webbed feet. So we need one more leg. So I'm gonna roll it up. I'm gonna attach it, move it forward. Kind of pinch it down just a little bit. Then use my fingernail to make it look webbed. And there we have a froglet. Now you have to make your frog. Now the frog does not have a tail. The tail has gone away on the frog. So again, we're gonna make our frog kind of like we did our froglet. We're gonna start with a ball and then start forming it. You want the top of the head or the body to look a little bit smaller than the back and it can kind of curve in in the middle. so that it looks a little bit like this. And then you put the frog in the frog body in the middle. Okay, now it's time to make the legs. So we're gonna make the back legs just like we did the other one. Start with a little snake. And if you get too much, just pinch it off. Okay, and so we're gonna attach those just like we did the other ones and put some little indentions in there. We're gonna take the other side, start with a little snake, attach it. Now, put the little indentions in, okay? So it starts like a froglet, but it doesn't have a tail. Now we need to do the front arms. So you, the front arms are gonna be a little bit shorter than the back, so you don't need quite as much Play-Doh. Start again with a snake, and then you're just, I got too much, okay? So start again with a snake, and then push them up like that. Then take another little bit, form it and push it up like that, just like so. Do your little indentions in there. And then you have your frog. Now you have the life cycle of the frog. Now I'm not real happy with my frog's body, so I'm gonna push that head forward just a little bit because I didn't think it was going forward enough. So there you go. So we start with an egg, then it becomes a tadpole, then a froglet, and then a frog. Now, when this Play-Doh dries, and it will, it'll dry out some, just take your glue gun and glue the back of the Play-Doh and it'll stick and then your child can keep their life cycle of a frog for longer. All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If there's something that you want to see that I haven't done yet, let me know. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up and turn on those notifications so you'll know when I've uploaded a new video. And stay, come back soon because I am going to show you some Dr. Seuss activities that you can do. All right, don't forget the caterpillar and the polywog.